When we are studying high school geometry, sometimes we are required to be able to use a formula to find the volume of a cube. The volume of a cube formula looks like this. V for volume equals S cubed. S is the side length. It means that the volume is equal to the side length times the side length times the side length. In this example, the side length of this cube is 7 meters. So we will plug this into the formula. V is equal to 7 cubed. And the cube of 7 is 343. I am assuming that you know how to use your calculator to find the cube of a number, and also to find the square of a number, the square root of a number, and the cube root of a number. All of these actions on the calculator are very useful when you're working with this type of formula. But that is a topic of another video. The last thing to do here is to apply the appropriate unit of measure. Since the distance measurement from this cube is meters, that means that the volume measurement is going to be meters cubed. In the second example, we already know the volume. The volume of this cube is 125 kilometers cubed. We want to know the side length. We take our volume formula and we plug 125 into the V position. Now we need to be able to find the cube root of each side. The cube root of 125 is going to be equal to the cube root of s cubed, which is s. The cube root of 125 will be equal to the side length. The cube root of 125 happens to be 5. All that's left is to apply the appropriate unit of measure. Since the volume of this cube was given in kilometers cubed, the side length should be given as kilometers. The side length for this cube is 5 kilometers. Here is another example that has an extra step. In this case, we want to know the volume of this cube. But we are not given a side length. Instead, we are given the area of one of the faces of the cube. 